Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Final Cut Help, brought to you by CreativeCow.net. Today, we're going to take a look at the three-way color corrector with skin tones. Now, lots of folks get comfortable with the three-way color corrector, but they make it much harder than it needs to be. We're going to take today a look at a scene that's identical, except we change talent. So you're going to see the same scene with two different color skin tones, and I want you to see how the color corrector behaves the same, even though we have a dramatic change in the subject. Let's take a look. You see here, we have the same outdoor shot. On the right, we have the talent here, African American, dark skin. On the left, we have a Caucasian male, light skin. Same scene, same setup with the camera. And what we want to do is color correct both scenes so people look their best. Well, we can go ahead and lasso around the shots here and apply the three-way color corrector. Effect, video filter, color correction, color corrector three-way. Now, there's lots of filters out there for color correction. The three-way color corrector is one of the most versatile. What's also nice about it is any work you do with it will translate over to color when you take the clips over there. So you can get a lot of color correction tasks done right inside the Final Cut Pro timeline, and then if you need to, kick the clips over to color, and all the work you've done to date will travel with. Let's continue. Now I'm just going to delete these audio tracks here, Option Lasso to select just them and delete so we don't hear them during our edit. And let's take a look here at the first shot. Now, Normally in a scene, I'd recommend trying to get a calibration card in there, but sometimes that won't be an option on your footage. In that case, you're going to need to look for a black and a white point within the footage, if at all possible. Let's double click so it's loaded, and you'll see there's the color corrector three-way. We're going to take the white eyedropper and look for something in the scene that should be white, like this window jam, and click. That went ahead and put a little more blue in the scene to get that white back to a pure white. Let's take the black eyedropper here and find something in the scene that should be pure black. And I'm going to go off of his shirt here and click. And that made just a very subtle change. If we want, we could push a little bit of blue in there manually, but it's looking pretty good. Now, the skin tones here are very subjective, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of red back into them for now. And everything else is just about set. We've got decent color on the scene. Now, this was just shot with available light. So obviously, if you did more lighting to it, you could do more in the scene. But after the fact, we could still do some decent touch-up. I'm going to pull the midtones down just a little bit and open up the highlights. And that's looking pretty good. Now, what I want to do is perform a simple crop around the subject here. And we'll do that by grabbing the Crop tool. C for Crop. Make sure you see the corners here. If you don't, press the W key to cycle through your wireframe modes and we're just going to crop around the skin tones. Now, once we've done that, a real useful thing we could do is go over to Tools and actually call up our scopes. There we go. I'll set this off to the side here. And what I want to take a look at is the vector scope. And we'll take a look at that shot there. And you see the little cluster of color here. Now, that's indicating where that's falling on the vector scope. And this diagonal line you see here is really the flesh tone line. So we want to make adjustments until this color is more centered on that line. Easy way to do that is by pushing the midtones. And you see there, as we move those around, how that blob of color moves. And that looks pretty good there. We're straddling that line pretty well. Now, that looked good. I'll go ahead and go to the Motion tab and just click the Reset button for Crop to restore the shot. And what I know there is that the skin tones are proper. And really, that's the most important thing in the scene because that's what people are going to cue in on. Does the skin look natural? Now, let's jump over to the next shot. I'm going to go ahead and just reuse this color corrector as a starting point. I'll come in here, grab it, and drag it on my next clip. And let's take a look at that shot. Here we have a different subject with different skin tones. And it's looking pretty good. The white and black in the scenes are accurate. Let's go ahead with the Crop tool and crop in. And we're just cropping around the skin tones. Looking at that there, notice we are right along that exact line for the flesh tones. So what does this prove? Well, a lot of people spend a lot of time fussing with color correction. They get all nervous when they're dealing with different skin tones, trying to mix them together. The good news is, is that flesh line is all about the color of blood, which is running throughout everybody's skin. So if you get the skin tones right on one shot, 
and nothing else has changed in the scene with lighting, no matter who steps into the frame, they're going to have proper skin tones. And if you remember, just crop around those skin tones, then it gets really easy to tweak this mid-tone slider here until that line is staying in the right spot. Quick double click so you're looking at it, and you can quickly just move that around as necessary. Here's the one we're working with here. Notice as we move that, it moves around the line, and where we started was exactly where we wanted to be. So, go back to the Motion tab. We can go ahead and click the Reset button on the crop, and it goes back to normal, and both scenes are properly color corrected. Hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Final Cut Help. There's lots more great resources you could check out over at creativecow.net. My name's Rich Harrington, and you'll find me there in their Final Cut Basics forum answering questions. Thanks for joining us.